Hi, this is Kelly at Quilter's Paradise. And today we thought, with the 4th of July just around the corner, we would showcase our slit and sew four inch apple core template in the making of this really cute flag inspired placemat. So we're gonna head on over to my sewing studio and get started on this. So we're gonna be making our flag placemat today. And we're gonna be using our slit and sew four inch apple core template. Now you wanna pay attention to this arrow because that means you need to place this template on the straight of the grain of the fabric you're cutting. That way you're not gonna get it all wobbly. So as you can see, your templates fit right here. And this probably project took me about two hours to do. So it's quick, fast, and fun. Now, if you want to be adventuresome, you can quilt this yourself. I did. And instead of doing stars in an applique on the blue, I actually just quilted stars in it. So let's get going and I'll show you a little trick when it comes to actually cutting out your fabric pieces using our slit and sew template. So in making this placemat using our slit and sew apple core template, I found a couple tricks that I wanna pass on to you if, with regards to the cutting. So I found that when I was cutting the inside circles, and this is four layers, I was running into the edges of the slits and it was stopping me, it was real jagged. So what I did was I flipped it over and I angle it somewhat so it's not necessarily straight up and down. Here we go, cut this out of our way. See how much easier that was? Now on the outside curve, it doesn't matter. It does just fine in your quote traditional way of cutting. But, when you do the inside, I suggest flipping it over and doing an angle so it doesn't get caught up on those slit edges. And sometimes, there we go. All righty. Now when you're cutting your slits, you're gonna be listening, listen slash feeling for that pop when your blade goes through your fabric. It's more of a feeling almost. And you're gonna do it straight up and down pretty much and then push out away from you. And voila, you get these great slits that are gonna help you when it comes time to put these together. So let's go on over to the sewing machine and I'll show you just what we do there. So in honor of this fabulous patriotic table mat, place mat, I ended up with my nails to match, so kind of got to go there. So anyway, we've got our two pieces. Bottom is right side up, top is right side down, and you're gonna go to the edge. And instead of laying it like this, you're gonna actually square it to start off with. And you're gonna put it up against your painter's tape that I've used to mark my quarter inch foot. And you're gonna sew about, three, four, five stitches, and then needle down. Now I don't have an automatic needle down, so I'll have to do that every time, but you probably do on your machine. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna line up your two slits, put your foot down, and you're gonna sew. And you're gonna sew till mm, about here, and then you're gonna lift up your presser foot. You're gonna line up your slits again. Here's this one, here's this one. Line those up. Take it back over. So you've got your accurate quarter inch and you're gonna sew. And you're gonna keep sewing. Now, we're about to the end there where we're gonna wanna line it up. Nope, we've got a little bit more to go. And you play with this a little bit. Um, to find out when is the best time to flip it over and to line up your next slits, which are gonna be right there. Okay, so now we're gonna sew past that slit, a couple stitches, 
and we're gonna go down. Now at this point, we're at the end and I am using this fingertip stiletto. This is made by, it was come up with Missy Carpenter of Traditional Primitives and she sells this on her website. Um, she uses it mainly for her English paper piecing but I found that it actually really helps in bringing those e two edges together. So we're gonna go over bring that up and I may have sewn a little too far but we can make it work there we go we've got it now squared up and I like this stiletto because it's flat so my foot goes down on it and it doesn't distort it so we now go to the end lift our foot up cut that out and voila no pins it matches on both ends. Now you can come on over to the pressing table and I press, I mean normally it would be towards the dark but with both of them being dark blue it doesn't matter which way you press. And you have this great curved seam with no pinning. So I've sewn two sets together in order to show you how you sew them together to create a four patch. Now it's the same premise. The great thing is again you're not paying attention to your seams. All you pay attention to are these great slits that are already in and that's what we're going to use to line it up. So let's go over to the sewing machine and I'll show you what we're doing. Okay we're going to sew these two rows together. Again same deal where you're going to square up to start and we're gonna go ahead and whoops, get him a little further under. There we go. Take a couple stitches, do needle down, and then you're gonna line up your first set of slits. There we go. Again, can't emphasize enough how you need your quarter accurate quarter inch seam, not a scant. All right, we're sewing up our next slits. Just sew past them, needle down, and then go ahead and sew to the next one. There we go. I'm going to put on my handy dandy stiletto. And there we go. Again, this is great. I'm so glad that I found this and I'm able to match these up so much easier with this stiletto. So where we go, we've gone to the next one. And the nice thing about this stiletto too is you don't have to take it on and off. It's real easy to sew with it. So I'm going to go ahead, smooth this out just a little. We're going to sew a couple more stitches, needle down, and then now here we go. We're right. You sometimes you do have to work with this a little because you don't want any gaps. All right. We're almost done. Getting this over. So here's our next one. Smooth this out. See how great this is. Okay. So now I'm getting past here, just past that slit. So I'm going to lift it up and this kind of push over the fabric so that it's squared up at the end. Hold that down while you put your presser foot and then you're going to go ahead and sew off. There you go. So let me press this out for you so you can see how beautiful it is. So since we have a white row and a red row, I'm going to press towards the dark. I use some steam. Some people don't like to use steam, but I do. It, it takes care of a lot of little issues. And we're going to flip it over and press out. And there we go. We have our four patch put together. 
you just keep doing this. In terms of this guy, I actually just laid out all of my pieces and I sewed each row first and then I sewed that together. So that's our project. Fun, quick placemat that has a very patriotic theme to it just in time for the 4th of July. Hope you have fun with it. Well, thank you for joining us. I had a really good time making this flag placemat with our fabulous slit and sew apple core template. I hope you'll enjoy it as well. You can catch us on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and of course on our website for more videos and ideas of what you can do with these wonderful templates.